Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Norwood Sawmills HD38 Electric. Norwood Sawmills are based in Canada and they've been producing horizontal band sawmills for 30 years. Let me take you around the HD38 and show you some of the features and benefits. The HD38 comes standard with a 20 foot bed, which allows you to mill timber up to 17 foot in length. This particular one that I'm studying now has had an extra four foot extension added to it. You can keep on extending this mill bed to whatever length you want. Also, as an optional extra, this has got the levelling stands that you can see running down the side of the machine. And this just gets it up off the floor so you've got full movement of your log dogs and your log rests. As standard, this machine comes with two log rests and two log dogs. As an optional extra, you can have a pair of tow boards. The tow boards allow for logs that have a taper on them. So you can actually lift one end up of the log or the opposite end to get the grain parallel with the bed. So the log rest and the log dog on the HD38 is unique to the HD38 and the HD36 V2. As standard, you get two log rests and two log dogs. So the log rest is height adjustable on a ratchet system. When you get the log sat on the cross bunk, and butt it up against the log rest, that then provides you 90 degrees. So as you're milling your timber and then you roll it over for your next cut, you know that you're gonna get a 90 degree corner. So when you've squared off your timber, that's called a cant of wood, and the cant of wood will butt up against there, and you know everything is absolutely perfect. When the log's sat on, what clamps it in place is what we call a log dog. So you lift this up, slide it into the log, and then use this handle, press down, and the pick bites into the timber and that holds it steady. If you are milling a square cant of wood, then you can lift over the serrated teeth, so then it provides no damage to the side of the timber. So as mentioned, this is an electric sawmill. So powering this is 11 kilowatt, three phase, 440 volt electric motor. Power comes in at the main control panel here, and this is a five pin, three phase plug. Control wise, over here, we have the dead man's handle. So before the blade will start, you have to squeeze the dead man's handle, press the green button, and that sets the blade going. As soon as you let go of the handle, the blade comes to a stop. As standard, all HD38s, regardless if they're a petrol engine or electric, have power saw head. So this system here allows you to lift and lower the carriage at the press of a button, and you can speed up and slow down how quick it raises and lowers. As standard, HD38 comes with auto lube for the blade. So this is filled up with normal tap water. If you are running into material that has a, a high pitch content, you can actually put a few squirts of washing up liquid in here as well. And if you're running it in the winter outdoors and you find this is freezing up, then you can add some screen wash to it as well. So this water won't flow until this handle's squeezed. So that's why they call it auto lube. So you don't have to keep turning the tap on and off here. The 38 comes with a calibrated lumber scale. When I say calibrated, the kerf of the blade has already been factored into this scale. So on one of the scales here where we're looking, it says three quarter. So that's the three quarter thickness of the timber that you're milling. So all you've got to do is drop the carriage down until the red line lines up with a three. And that means then you're milling three quarter boards. You don't have to add that quarter eighth of an inch added onto the blade for your kerf. It's all done for you automatically. When it comes to tensioning the blade, it couldn't be any simpler. We have a T-handle here mounted on the operator side of the machine. So once you've got your blade in place onto your band wheels, all we do is turn this handle until the yellow spring collapses just behind the orange panel. Simple as that. As the model number suggests, HD38 means it can handle a 38 inch diameter log. So once the log is sat on the cross bunks, the carriage will physically pass over that diameter of log. When it comes to board width, that is the measurement between that blade guide and this blade guide pulled all the way back. And that will give you a 32 inch board width. Now the unique feature on this mill, due to the Omega design of the saw head, is the depth of cut of what we've got in here. Most sawmills are around the eight inch depth of cut. This one is 14. So if you want to do some nice thick beams with this machine, you can do it in one pass. We have a very simple drive system on the 38. So from the electric motor drive here, from this pulley, we have a drive belt that drives to a pulley that's mounted to the back of the band wheel. 
each band wheel has its own idler belt. So for that one and for this one here, and that's what the blade runs on top of and provides a grip. Belt tensioning is achieved on this mechanical tensioner here. And then we've got two grease points, one on either band wheel, which need to be greased every day. The blade guides are unique to the HD38 only. So we use a combination of roller guides and also underneath the blade, there's a ceramic. These guides are fully adjustable. So we can adjust the guide up and down to actually put downforce onto the blade. And we can also tilt this roller backwards and forwards as well. So when you come to level this blade off, you can be absolutely millimeter perfect. Thank you for watching today's Technical Tuesday. If you do have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, or alternatively, give me a call on 07764 986 912, and I look forward to speaking to you next time.